As a kid, I would always read books. I would even get in trouble for reading books. So that was kind of a clue that English was pretty much the field that I was destined to go into. I really like the subject a lot. It's something you know I've always liked. I've always written since I was little, and I always liked to read growing up. I enjoy a lot of writing. Um, I read now and then, but I prefer writing. My junior and senior year, I noticed that I liked writing a lot and that I was getting really good grades in my English classes. When I was little, I would just write like little short stories, like the little kid subjects, you know. I had two teachers. They were actually married to each other. They both taught AP English language and AP English literature my junior and senior year. And they had such a passion for literature and they made it so clear but yet so demanding and challenging that it was, um, it was a step up for me as an individual to, um, to take on this new challenge of learning how to really read and write well. I guess this is my strong suit for me to pursue, and since I enjoy it, why not? I like to write short fiction, um, also poetry. Uh... Classic literature, graphic novels, um, short stories. I really like short stories still. Isaac Asimov was one of the authors that really changed how I viewed the world and the future. You get so many different points of views from the stories you read, from people deceased and still living that it helps you actually learn about people and yourself. Ghost World, yeah, it's just, um, I always enjoyed stories of like alienated youth, you know, misfits trying to find, find out what their true identity is, and it goes through a lot of that. When I read Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, that completely changed who I saw myself as an individual. I just related to the main character on such a deep level. I didn't know an author could write about me having never met me. So it was really amazing to see the struggles that he went through and how they practically mirrored some of my own struggles. When I'm reading like fiction or poetry, usually I do it in like a literary magazine website. Narrative's a good one. Well, I read uh, horror, suspense, mystery. I find very interesting because when you get to the middle, out of nowhere, there's a twist and whoa, no way. <laughs> I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Stephen King, perhaps. Used to be in by John Steinbeck. I really like the message at the end, Team Shell, it's like thou mayest, kind of tells you that your life's not planned out and it's actually what you make it. I think every book I read changes me a little bit, but the main ones that stick out are A Hundred Years of Solitude um, by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I'm like a potpourri reader kind of, I read a little bit of everything. I had stopped writing for a really long time when I was, when I was younger, but um, when I read that it just like, it made me want to start writing again. I like writing uh, either suspense, mystery, or horror pieces. Um, I also get into like maybe some ballads. I do not plan to end up like Edgar Allan Poe, destitute and drunk in a gutter. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for English majors out there. One of my goals is either being an English professor or being an editor for a company. Being an English major prepares you for a lot of careers uh, in journalism, in magazines, in the publishing world. I want to write, that's what I know. Also maybe get my master's and become a professor. Corporations need English majors to write their documents all the time because, you know, a lot of them can't write. With an English degree, you can actually get into law school pretty easily because they're looking for thinkers and English majors are usually thinkers. I want to teach and write on the side. When I entered Cerritos College, I, was in, I came in as an architect major. I wanted to either do philosophy or women's studies, but I figured with in, um, English, I could just encompass both of those subjects. If you want to become an English major, um, there's just a form that you download from the Cerritos College website and you just sign off that you want to be an English major. Um, and then you just turn it into admissions and records and they'll take care of it for you. My name is Alex Ramos and I am an English major. My name is Dean Taylor and I'm an English major. My name is Cassandra Sandoval and I'm an English major. My name is Matt Hamilton and I'm an English major and I'm addicted to books. English.